This is the current most disgusting YouTuber alive, King Sid, a YouTuber with over 2 million followers who is now facing felony charges for calling the police on himself in hopes that the police would racially profile him, act aggressively, and or violate his rights, while he and his friends act as suspicious as possible and tell the police they have drugs in the car in this fake prank video going horribly wrong. Because the drugs were fake, but the police were very real. But before we get into that, this is the Church of Joe Stone podcast and I'm your host, Joe Stone. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and that like button. Welcome. So let me break down this crazy situation for you. Sid and his friends called the police on themselves reporting suspicious activity at a gas station by a black man in a hoodie. 911, what is your emergency? Hello, um, I'm calling because I see like weird suspicious activities at a gas station, like weird legal. Like gas station? Yes. Uh, he has a black hoodie, he keeps getting in and out. University Drive, he has a black hoodie, he's two. What type of vehicle is it? Yes, they, they literally racially profiled themselves in order to try to set the police officers up. Now, these guys are pumped, apparently, and think this is a great idea. So they rehearse what they're going to say to the police before they get there. He's like, officer, is there a problem? And when the police do get there, they dive right into the script. Officer, is there a problem? I don't know. Is there a problem? What's going on, uh, officer? We're good. You guys, what are you guys doing here? We're just chilling. Yeah. We just we just got a camera on. Now, once the officer starts conducting the inquiry, it's their job in the car to act suspicious as hell. Now, of course, this police officer starting to see the red flags probably is getting nervous, but you know, fuck his mental health. Can I come around and talk to him? You don't have to. No, you don't have to tell him where you live, bro. Right, you don't so have. You, you don't have to give him your ID. But is is, is there? There's a suspicious activity. Can you tell me what suspicious activity, sir? I'm not going. I'm not going to. I'm not going to jail. You're not you. doing nothing, bro. I'm not going. We just. We, we are. We're not doing I'm not nothing. I'm not going to jail for you. Bro. Now, while they're playing this out and acting nervous, the next level of the game is for King Sid's accomplice in the car to suddenly get super scared and snitch and tell the police that they have drugs in the car. Coke, to be exact. I think you can see where this is going, right? Because I want to know what's going on. Someone called about you guys. We're hanging out. Suspicious. What about them? What about them? What about them? What about every other car here? They didn't call about them. So, and the other part about this that's hilarious is like you call the police on yourself, then you're gonna try to make like a civil rights moment. Like you're racially pro no, you racially profiled yourself. The cop is literally responding to the tales that you're giving him. Because in their minds, I think that this social experiment was supposed to be some type of way to expose how corrupt the justice system is. And it's not. It just shows how ignorant you are. Nervous right now because you just came to me okay, with, no, with no explanation. So. Why is race right now? Wait, why is there more cops coming, sir? Why is there more cops coming? Sir, I got a lot of check the car, I'm, bro. I'm not going to jail for y'all, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. Damn, bro. You ready? Just check the trunk. Just I told you, bro. It's, it's drugs. No, 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 no. Keep your hands where I can see them. Yeah, any weapons in the car at all? No, sir. No, sir. Nothing. There's nothing in the car. All, all I'm gonna say. There's nothing in the car, sir. No, no. All I'm gonna say is I got a good loaded. Alright, do you guys want? You got a gun loaded? No, I said I got a good loaded. Not only do they tell the police that they have drugs in the car, the guy in the back seat says something that sounds like he has a gun loaded as well, prompting the officers to get even more concerned. Also, we have to point out, these officers are handling this situation amazingly. I am absolutely surprised that they are not already dragging them out of the car and throwing them to the ground and arresting them. Doesn't sound like the best thing to do when you guys are scaring guys with guns and you don't have any in real life. He said he has a gun Bro, what? I'm gonna be honest, I never wanted to see someone get beat up by the police so bad. Can I step so up can you take your hands off your gun? Nah, 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 bro. I'm about to start recording. Just, just I'm about to start to recording. We're listening, we're listening! For me? Did you get it? There you go. Wait, Now I just want to reassert that again, all of this is fake. But the police don't know what's going on. And King Sid is on the verge of getting him and his friend shot. Now they end up getting detained and then the police find the coke that they say is in the trunk. <laughs> Oh, this is the prank. Ha ha ha. Laugh. No. That's the coke that they were talking about. And then, of course, the police get what the hell is going on. Now, they're let go that day, but shortly after are charged with third degree felonies for misuse of 911. Now, this is horrible in a number of ways. Not only is it disrespectful to every person of color that was an actual victim of police brutality or racial profiling, you're doing this at a time where people who look just like you 
were burning buildings to the ground because of what happened to George Floyd. And you think that it's okay to make fun of it. But not only did you do that, as a terrible excuse for a human being, you also managed to piss off good police officers who handled this situation in the most professional way imaginable. They were patient, they were courteous, they didn't overstep their boundaries, conducted everything in a lawful manner, and the, and the only person you exposed was yourself and your own stupidity. While these cops were just trying to do their jobs. Now King Sid is lucky that he didn't get what he was looking for. Now while this 21 year old grown ass man was playing games on 911 with the police, hopefully someone who actually needed their help didn't suffer because of it. It is no surprise that he got charged after he managed to piss off the entire Coral Springs Police Department. On February 3rd, the Coral Springs Police Department arrested Jason Sid and charged him for a felony for misuse of a 911 system. Now I hope that King Sid learned from his mistakes, but something tells me that he's just getting started. I'm on YouTube. My goal is to hit three million in six months. I'm gonna do what I need to do to entertain you. But this is the world we live in, where internet fame and the cloud is more important than character or integrity. And you don't care who you offend or how you offend them as long as you get those likes. And I'm sure he'll go on to have a successful career because we live in a type of world where that's what happened. But at the very least, his followers should be mad at the clickbait because he entitled the video Coke Prank on Aggressive Cops. The cops weren't aggressive. They responded correctly to the situation you created. And the only thing that's a joke here is you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Should King Sid go to jail? Should YouTube step in and delete the channel? Maybe? I don't know. Will he go on to be successful like Jake and Logan Paul, who also did something that should have ended their career but ended up making it? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully, we've earned you hitting that subscribe button and that like button. This is the Church of Joe Stone podcast, and I'm your host, Joe Stone. See you in the next one.